I was surprised because the, in the condition that she's in, a person like that, usually they really don't want to interact with nobody. You know, like you're at the end of life. She was very clear she was teaching about pancreatic cancer, death and dying, and pain. We started doing research and looking up her disease and stuff like that and asking her questions. She was very talkative. I was happy that she was able to open her house and her life and her disease for us to learn about it. It's like a cycle, your life. You started going to school in Holyoke, and now you're teaching for Holyoke. Yeah. And yeah. all these people in your class and all the teachers that knew you, now they know you again. As a teacher. Pretty cool. I know, this is so blowing my mind. Mm -hmm. It's blowing your mind. Yeah. I think she actually wanted someone to talk about it with her. I have um, six months to live. And I already passed that by um, a couple months. That's yeah. when you went to hospice, right? Yeah. This is the second time that I've been in hospice. Your heart just hurts. It's like, what can we do? And that helplessness is very hard. In school, they always teach us, like, pain management is the biggest thing. Like, you know, we have to treat the pain with her. Like, how do you treat it? Like, you tried everything. What else is there to try, you know? Mother and child, holy infant, so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly 